everyone, it's me, Future Pet Paradise, and today's video is Rat Anatomy. Firstly, I just want to mention quickly, if you do not like rats, or if you ever fear rats, then do not watch this video, because this is all about rats, and I know quite a few people do have fears of rats, but I also want to mention there's no point watching rat videos if you don't like rats and I often find a few people watch my rat videos and comment about how they hate them so much but there's no point doing that because if you don't like rats you should not be watching rat videos fur there is a slight difference with females and male rats fur female fur female fur is slightly more shiny, silkier and softer in touch they don't get butt grease because they don't have a hormone that produces it. Male fur. Male fur is slightly more coarser and not as shiny or soft, but more wiry. Males also have the hormone which produces an odour called buck grease. Though this is not at all strong and very faint, also do not see this as an oil that rub off onto your hands because this does not happen. It's a small orangey patch on the back when looking deeply into the, the male rat's fur. Rat fur comes in a range of different colours, markings and types and I'll be doing on a video on that soon so you can learn more about that. Tails Rats, unlike other small rodents, their tails can grow between 17 to 25 centimetres and in Canadian and US measurements this is 7 to 9 inches. They are usually quite scaly through appearance but they do not feel by how they appear and rats tails are quite soft and silky in touch. Tails have important uses for rats. One of the most common uses for rats is body temperature. Rats control their body temperature by dilating or constricting their blood vessels in the tails. When the body temperature rises by a few degrees the vessels swell permitting lots of blood to flow the other important common use is balance. Rats need tails to maintain a good balance. This allows them to climb ropes and other high objects. The rat's centre of gravity must stay directly above what they are climbing or balancing on. If it moves to one side then the gravity will cause rats to turn around the object. If they do not correct their rotation then they will fall. And that's why it's vital rats have to stay directly above what they're balancing on. Um, the tail can also help change some centre of the gravity, though this change will remain very small because their tail is so light in weight. And the rat's centre of gravity is low and close to the object they're balancing on, a low centre of gravity making them balancing easier because a large rotation is required to tip the rat over. Teeth. Rats have 16 teeth. They have incisors and molars. Incisors are the front teeth and these are four long sharp teeth, two on the top and two on the bottom. They are highly used for gnawing and they are open rooted which means they constantly grow throughout the rat's life which is why it's so important that rats have chews in their cage at all times to wear down their teeth and to prevent dental problems. And molars are the rearmost teeth in the mouth. These are used for grinding and leading to swallow food. Rats have 12 molars, six on the top and six on the bottom. Molars are never replaced and rats only have one set of teeth in their whole life. And this is called monophonodont. The healthy color of rats teeth should be orange. If they appear white, this is not healthy and this means they lack nutrition from poor diet or they are highly stressed. Ears. Rats ears are one of the most powerful senses they use. They can hear very well and can communicate with other rats through squeaks, whines and clicks that us humans cannot hear, including hearing in ultrasonic frequencies. Paws. Rats have five toes on both front and back paws. Usually three of rat paws are on the ground one at a time. However, when they jump, they use their back paws. Eyes. 
Rats have very poor vision, especially the red or pink eyed rats. They will often weave their heads from side to side to help see better. However, that being said, in the position of their eyes, on each side of their heads allows them a wide range of vision. Many people think that rats are colour blind, but this is not true at all. Rats' vision show they can detect ultraviolet light and can see colours of blue and green. Nose. Again, another powerful sense that rats use. Rats' noses are extremely sensitive. Over 1% of their DNA is focused on finding odours. Whiskers. Any sense of touch starts by rats using their whiskers. Whiskers brush over the ground, any objects, food and other rats. When a whisker touches an object, it bends, and when it does this, the follicle sends a message to the rat's brain. Rats can tell the direction of how far the whis each whisker moves. As the rats move through the places, they feel objects, textures and near their faces. Then this creates a very detailed image of the world, more than any rat eyes can see. So that's the video. I hope you found it helpful, enjoyed it and learned some new things about rats that you didn't know before. Any comments or questions then leave them down below. If you like our channel and want to see more then go subscribe. And if you like this video, if you found it very helpful then don't forget to hit that like button. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Hey everyone, it's me, Peter Pet Paradise, and today's video is Safe Foods and Foods to be Fed in Moderation for Rats.